So what is going on everyone? I hope every single one of you are having a great day. It's a beautiful day out here to be filming. I mean, just take a look around. Clear skies all around. Great for picture taking for the car, which I'm about to do. I really do need to clean this car, but... But it's been a long time since I've actually done that and I'm about to actually go somewhere so that's why I'm a little dressed up more than I normally am just in a 1320 hat and you know a regular car t-shirt. So besides the point, what we're going to do, so we're going to get into this video. My name is Chris and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel and this is my car, a 2001 Ford Mustang GT Coyote Swap or 5.0 Swap. And yeah, we're going to get into this. So I made a video talking about this maybe almost a year ago. But we're going to go ahead and pretty much update that video because I think this one will be a lot better and easier for everyone to follow along and understand. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to give you, for the 99 to the 04 Mustang guys, I'm going to give you just a few basic maybe mod ideas you could do exterior or even power wise for your car minus my motor. So, getting into this guys, as you know, I have the Raxium LED taillights from American Muscle and they are right around the $350 mark and you can pick them up with a sequential taillight kit harness included also I think around for $400. So the LEDs right here will light up and at night it looks really aggressive. This right here, I've had this for actually near about three to four years. I got it from American Muscle and it's the Honeycomb Declad. So you can see it's kind of faded, maybe a little back to black from Meguiar's would fix that up. But just stuff like that. And this is the Cobra 0304 stock Cobra tail uh, spoiler with the tail light itself. Now I picked this up from a junkyard place. I did not order that. So. The bumper, everyone that asked me questions about the bumper, yes, it is a OEM Cobra bumper, it's not aftermarket. What I did was I went ahead and bought from the same place that I got the spoiler from, and then I took it to a guy that I knew at that point that painted this and filled in the letters, so it's pretty much just a shaved Cobra bumper. And then did the cutout right here, much as you can see, there you go, I did the best I could trimming it and these are the quad tips from Sting Mods. Yes, they are dirty. I know that. But those are around the $180 mark. Went ahead and did the uh, film over this where it's tinted. I don't know if you can really see that or not, but as you guys know, the black chrome Rovos, they're right around $1,600, $1,200, that mark, whatever. Um, here is another mod you can do, the Shorty Antenna. I believe this is a UPR one or American Muscle. I am not sure. I believe they're all the same. Yes, guys, I know the motor is dirty. This is, this is the 2000 Cobra R hood and is a ball style link hood. So when you close it, it is functional. The little neat thing right here is I can stick my hand and actually feel the back of the motor right here. So it is actually a rear functional rear functioning hood so yes it is functional another mod you guys can do that I've talked about in a video that Ford should always do now is the hood struts I don't know why Ford still does not include hood struts with these cars uh, headlights these are the clear corners and I got these off LMR.com for I think around 100 bucks uh, this is a 99 to 01 Cobra front bumper it needs a little work uh, the car is dirty, like again, I apologize, but it is hooked up with the 0304 Cobra Fog lights. Well, it has the 99 to 01 bezels, but I am running the 0304 Cobra Fog lights, which is just a little modification. There is a uh, there is a description on how to do that on uh, line, I think fordcorel.com or something along those lines. So another idea you can do with these motors and even other motors is painted coil covers. Uh, I just painted these. It was really simple, very easy. I did it the same with the intake, uh, same paint, AutoZone paint. It was like seven bucks. As you guys know, you can always run the racing seats, and then I have the old, uh, and I have a rear seat delete as well. The rear seat delete came from American Muscle, right around two hundred dollars. I think it's a Schrader Performance one. The Brom racing seats, I actually got these on a deal because I am sponsored by Brom. So, but I still have the stock motor. Yep, for any doubters that wonder that. 
so those are just some ideas of stuff you can do to this car now some are expensive some aren't expensive uh, I don't know what your budget is but I've gone over a lot of stuff with this car before so there's plenty of videos talking about it so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time but I just kind of wanted to do a little update video just for you guys so you can see kind of what I have with the car and what I don't have my favorite thing is running the 0304 Cobra fog lights on the 99 to 01 bezels it's very simple it you can pick these parts up from like Home Depot the little L brackets that allow you to run it I will even turn on the LEDs for you guys for daytime use so you can see and here you are with the Cobra R hood so actually the thing is boss dot link does not they're not in company anymore they were around for about 20 25 years so it might be hard to find the one I have but for the right price I might let mine go because I'm actually searching for a Cala hood so another idea that you guys can do see I've had these painted since maybe three or four years ago same with the AutoZone paint you can just paint these very easy They're a little dirty they probably need to be redone but I think it touches up the car a lot it kind of gives the interior a little more you know, like character inside because you know, guys the factory interior is very blue so went ahead my favorite color of course is the dark charcoal I love black accents and stuff in the car so the dark charcoal with the silver with the black brown seats with the rear seat elite that's just black I think it goes very well and I also have the SCT tuner so you guys should definitely pick up one of those very budget friendly mod and probably the best mod that I've said today besides exterior that you can pick up that is worth the price so here are the LED taillights and the daytime I think they look damn good uh, I think American Muscle did or Rack Team did a pretty good job on these. I'll even turn on the flashers for you guys. So you kind of get what what's going on here. So that's what you get. That's the turn signal. That's on the right side. So I think from the distance it looks really good, especially at night. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just like I said, I just wanted to do a little update video for you guys because I feel like the first video wasn't the best quality. So I hope this video kind of just gives you guys a few ideas of what you can do. But on that note, I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to be making videos on the 5.4. There's a lot of stuff going on with that. So I will catch you guys in the next video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that share and like button. Make sure to take a look around the channel and give any other videos a thumbs up and follow the build and I will catch you guys in the next video have a great one